All right, today is Thursday, April 25th, 2018. Looking at the Bearhawk build. So far, I've got the Eco Fill, which is the fabric filler, the UV protectant. It's also a primer for darker colors. If I'm gonna put a light color, which I am gonna do on some of this, I will put a lighter primer and then top coat it with a light color. So the spraying went pretty well. I've got the compressor and everything set up perfectly. I got a damn overspray issue that I did not expect and I should have done a better job of masking. So I've got a few things I'm gonna to have to come back and hit on the black tube. Right now I'm working on the uh, gear legs. I wanted to get the brake lines installed, make sure I've got the runs set up for those just right. So, so um, brake line comes in here and then down to the caliper here. Earlier, in an earlier video, I had a discussion about the torque plates for the uh, brake calipers. So I'm getting ready to cover, now that I've got those lines installed, I'm getting ready to cover these gear legs basically because I'm waiting for more eco fill to show up. Uh, I didn't order enough, so I decided to go ahead and cover the gear legs today. Here's my compressor. Um, this is a scroll compressor. I live in a condo, so I couldn't have a big loud banging piston compressor. This thing really puts out a lot. I mean, this thing is it's state of the art. It's very quiet. It's a 30 gallon tank, but they call it the 3060 because it puts out just as much as a 60 gallon tank would. Oh, here's a tool that I picked up that I really like. Um, I've only got one hand for the camera, but I think you can get the idea you can see it. This is for Adele clamps. Man, I can't tell you what a pain in the ass it is to try to squeeze down an Adele clamp and push the bolt through and get the nut on the bottom. This does all of that. It lines up the hole with this awl, and it's got this little duck bill sort of thing on a, in a vice grip sort of configuration. And when you're done, you just pull this out, if I can do it with one hand. And, and let's see. Now, I just take this over to wherever I want to put it, and drop my bolt in put the nut on the back and then I just take the vice grip off. So I've been liking this. I bought it on uh, Amazon. It's a little pricey, but I saved some time using it. What else? What else? What else? Uh, I think that's about it for now. I'm gonna start painting here soon. Let me show you if you haven't seen it already. This is going to be what the paint scheme's gonna look like. This is what I decided on. I'm gonna do a little bit of a flat black here on the nose. But this will be easy to lay out. And I'm buying this uh, this this, plant, this uh, paint scheme from Plain Schemer. And they're gonna send me a template that I can just lay over the fuselage and mark everything out. So uh, that'll save some time and hopefully keep my lines nice and straight. So that's my update. <laughs> 